Welcome to JTMJ Crafts. My name is Jeremy. If you're new here, welcome to the family. How's everybody's day going? I hope it is fantastic. So, we're doing a whipping chat today. I'm going to explain where I was over the weekend. And today I am working on... Oops. There goes the cover miner. Good job, Jeremy. Um, I'm working on the Witch House collab with Sister Addiction. Oh, good lord. Sister Nicole, Karen Doss. Uh, I know I'm missing somebody, but that's all I can think of right now. There's a, a, a few of us creators that are working on that. Um, actually, I know Sister or somebody. Was it, I think it was his sister Nicole, she finished it. I was like, shh, shall we? I, I haven't been working on this damn painting very long. Because I got my Diamond Art Club Think Pink painting, so I put this aside and completed that Think Pink painting because I had to have it. Uh, unfortunately, I ran out of dr drills on that, on one color. They're already on their way. Diamond Art Club was snappy on top of it, like always. And, uh, so this should be here soon. I can get that finished and get it hung up. So, over the weekend, um, Friday night, my brother calls me and says, Hey, what are you doing? I said, nothing, sitting out back on the back porch. Um, it was before any of the lives started Friday night, and I was like, he says, what are you doing tomorrow? And I said, um, nothing that I'm aware of. Why? I said, but I do have a live stream Saturday night. And he was like, okay, I'll have you home by then. Come help me. Okay. And my, you guys, my little brother is my best friend. So if he calls and needs help, I'm on my way. No matter what. That's, that's my bro. I love my little brother. Uh, and I, oh, I'm pulling it out of the clamp. Hold on. I'm pulling it out of the clamps up there. Oh, I only have two clamps on it. That explains why it's moving. I'm missing a clamp. I use these because they're stronger. That's better. So I get up Saturday morning. I head to my brother's. Well, um, I woke up at 7, kind of laying around. Then remembered, oh crap, the DP a thon. Shoot. I wanted to make an attempt to be at every live stream, at least for a little bit. Well, that didn't happen. I think I made it to three live streams, and that's it. I felt horrible. I was like, ah. There were so many lives that I wanted to be at, but man. I was working. Sorry. So we ended up and were replacing his fence in his backyard. He lives kind of in a subdivision. I guess you would call it subdivision. It's, it's a smaller subdivision. And the f fence facing the road, you can walk up to it and go. And it would pretty much push over. So to keep his dog and my dog in, we had to build a wire fence to uh, keep them from going anywhere. So we got that done. We tore down the main fence. Okay, cool. There was like four out of the, I believe it was 12, four by four poles. There was uh, four of the 12 broken so there it is broke right off so i didn't do us any good 
So the poles weren't in the best condition. They were all kind of been in the ground for a while. And we just said, you know what? Screw this. Weren't putting new poles in. Whew. Little did we know. That where this is, it's already had a fence, a, a fence, it's already had a fence put up there three times. So there's concrete all over the frickin' place. I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. We're sitting out there with a pick, axe, a spud bar, and... Uh, Wayne up and got a, uh, sledgehammer, trying to break up this damn concrete. Finally, at like, my, one of our really good friends comes over, and he's like, I'll come over, slam that damn thing. He come over, he had really fresh arms, me and Justin have been doing it for all day long. Our arms were like, jello. I... I swear, I didn't know if I was going to be able to diamond paint that night. Uh, my arms felt like jello. So, he got it busted up in a hurry. And I hang out for a little bit. And then about 8 o'clock, I bail out of there. Because I had to come back home, which is probably a half hour drive, roughly. I had to come home, and I wanted to shower, get cleaned up, get my craft room set up because I was working on a Native American beating. That's complete now. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I've shared it on uh, Instagram. I will have a video out Friday of Native American beating, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it, but I'll show you. It's the one I was been working on. I need Way better beads. These beads suck. They're like completely different sizes. You can see how skinny and then fat they go. But I'm going to work with the ones I got because I haven't got the other ones yet. But I did order some. So I figured, eh, why not, why not use the beads I have and get some practice in before the good stuff comes. Straighten yourself up. So, like, my arms were just done after that. So, I take off. I come back here. I take a nice long shower. Ah, sliding out of the clip again. And I'm just, I'm sitting on the couch, and I'm just like, I feel like I'm going to fall asleep. And I know if I fall asleep, I ain't going to get up. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be grouch, El, El Groucho <laughs> because uh, yeah if you don't know if I'm tired I'm a grouchy ass just saying I think all of us are though so I'm like man uh. I gotta do something. So, I think it was Crafting with Peppers. I got on YouTube and I was like, I don't want to stay on YouTube for very long because, one, I have to go live shortly after Peppers did. Two, I had to think about my phone being charged up. So I hanged out Peppers for a little while, and then I got in the mood for diamond painting, so I went in and I diamond painted for a little while. And then next thing I know, it was time to go live. Went live, had a blast. Um, I was going to play some games with you guys that night, but it just it seemed like it went so fast. I never had a chance to do any of the would you rather questions. I had picked some out too. But there's always next time. So I get done with that. I end up and go over to Crystal's live. She had a a few issues at first and then she got up and running and then I was like I'm going to bed I'm done I'm 
wiped, clean, just go to sleep. Put a fork in me, I'm done. So I, I like barely crawl into bed and I'm out like a light. Wake up at like three o'clock in the morning. I had to go to the bathroom. Drinking too much water. But if I don't drink that water, those iron pills screw with me. Good God. I, I understand what people go through who take iron pills. I have to, I, I try to drink a ton of water because the iron pills are fighting it. But anyways, I'm squirrel. Squirrel! Uh, so, I get to sleep, I get back to sleep, I wake up, I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to set an alarm because I was heading back to my brother's whenever I can get up. I wasn't sure exactly when I was going to wake up, but, oh, guess who it is? It's Mr. Trapper. Yeah. What? What's I look for? Y'all, th this little prickhead over here, oh, we were sitting on the back porch right before dark, and he comes up and he just puts his head, like, about a foot away from my face and just starts growling and snarling his teeth at me and, like, lunges at me. And then slice, hits my arm with his paws and scratch my arms. I don't know, you can't really see it now. It's kind of faded off. But And then jumps down, starts barking at me, and I'm like, you're going to get it if you don't stop. I see, I know he's jumping at me. He actually grabbed a hold of my hand with his mouth. And I jumped up, and he backed down. He's like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I don't care if you're going to play, but you don't get to the point where you, you actually grab my hand. I will bust your little butt. I don't touch, I don't hit my dog though. He knows better. All I got to do is just raise my voice and he's like off into the other direction. He don't, he don't like it when I raise my voice. He knows he's in trouble. If I just say, ah, he's like, ah, I'm done. He'll go run and hide, get underneath the bed. But anyways, I'm, I'm over here squirrel. So I, I get back to bed. I get alarm set. I get up uh, before the alarm because Mr. Trapper is laying on my chest. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, you know how they have like the little, the little elbows when they come up and they like put their paws like this and their legs like this and they got those little elbows back there and it's just like digging right into the, the my chest and I'm just like, ah, oh, okay, get, get the hell off me, get off me. And I start yelling at him and he, then he's like, he stands up and just breathes over top of me. I'm like, it's too goddamn early to go outside. Excuse me, I'm. I shouldn't have said that, but, uh, I said, no, I, uh, no, not, excuse me. I'll say what the fuck I want to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't care anymore. I don't care. That's, I don't, I don't even want to get into that because, uh, there was this whole big old long spiel I was going to talk about today, and... Yeah, but I just decided I just probably just keep my mouth shut or I'm probably gonna piss a lot of people off. But and some people think that they are my friend and not my friend. Anyways. I will touch base on that here in a little while after I get done telling my story, but So, I get up, like 6.45, take knuckle face outside. Uh, my allergies are freaking nuts. I take knuckle face outside. He goes out, he goes to the bathroom, 
he goes over and lays down on the steps and just sits out there for like an hour. Just like... Now mind you, I'm outside with him. He does not go outside unless I go outside. If I open the door, he's not the type of dog, he's just gonna go run off. He just, he don't do that. He will sit there at the door and wait for me and be like, But dad, you gotta come with me before I go. I can't go off the porch without you out here. But dad! And then he'll start barking at me. And then he'll start <laughs> doing his little back talk bullshit. People say that labs aren't really talkers. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Every lab I have ever owned has been a talker. My brother's lab is a talker. My other brother's lab is a talker. Trapper is a talker. But Trapper is a vicious talker. If you don't like the way he's talking to you, he will start showing his teeth, and he'll start getting mad, and he'll start snipping at you. He's quite the vicious little boy. And it's, people go, oh my god, why would you have a vicious dog? Trapper is vicious to strangers. Trapper is vicious to people he don't know. People come to my house, he don't know. He's like, um, I don't know who the hell you are. Um, you're going to kill my dad, so I'm going to come over here and sit in front of my dad and bark at you until my dad says it's okay. And like, like seriously, he's sitting between my legs, sitting down, and he's just snarling, foaming out the mouth, and the dude's standing outside the door, and he's like, is your dog okay? I'm like, yeah, he's good. Just don't give him the command. He's good. And then it was in, it was my buddy, so I ended up go outside to go talk to him for a few minutes. But as I open the main door, there's a security door. It's a, you know, middle security door outside. So I open the main door, and I go, oh, hey, what up? And Trapper goes and jumps and hits the door about three quarters of the way up the door and starts snapping in the air at my buddy. I'm just like, really? You know who this is. You hunted with him. You, he, he's known Trapper since Trapper was a puppy. He just hasn't seen him for a while and he was just like, I don't think you're doing something right. So I'm gonna snap at you. And then after I got done talking to him and he was like, all right, bud, I'll talk to you later. And I was like, all right, and Trapper just sitting at the door, all happy as can be. He comes walking over and I open the door and Trapper like walks up and just starts like panting his, or wagging his tail, just like, nah. Wagging his tail, all happy as can be. Like, oh, no, I, I, I remember that guy. You guys talked, and I remembered him. Yeah, that's Trapper. Sounds like he's barking at the cat. Boogie butt. Machito. Don't ask me the nicknames for my dog. I, uh, I don't know where they come from. Fathead, Machito, Boogie Butt. Uh, well, the, the main one I used to call him was, uh, Burger. That was his name when he was a, he was a pup. When he didn't listen, I'd say bugger, and he'd come. He'd actually come over. Yeah, there. You know, I've I've been sitting over here squirreling for like the last five minutes. 
forgot all about what I was talking about. Good lord. <sighs> I tell you what. So, we get back, we come back inside from, like, being outside forever with the fat head. And I feed him, I go get ready. And we take off. I get to my brother's. And he's like on the phone with my dad. Trying to get my dad to come help. Because my dad's like the fence guy. Like to get the, the wood poles straight and square and perpendicular and all that, that good mesh and lining up. And yeah, my dad's that. That's my dad. So my dad's like, oh, I'll come help. So we wait for my dad. And then my dad's like, you guys dug these holes wrong. I'm like, what? You dug these holes wrong. And I go, what do you mean, dug the holes wrong? It's like, you should have done them at seven foot instead of eight foot. And we're like, why? So the two by fours that are runners going this way. So let's see, how can I explain this? So you got, this is your pole. You got a two by four running this way. You got two by four running this way and a two by four running like that. So that's how you would uh, screw them together. What we were going to do, we were going to screw them together so they were like this. So they just barely sat on the. Uh, there was like an inch on each side of the the um, two by four for structure. And my dad's like, that's the crappy way of doing it. You need to do it this way. So we had to drag all new holes. Yeah. Mmm. Mimosa. Good Lord, that stuff tastes good. So, yeah, we had to dig all new holes. Well, not technically all new holes. We just had to make the holes a lot bigger. Like a foot to the right bigger. Um, luckily, my dad was a smart man because it was concrete the day before that we were screwing with. So he went and got the Hilti guns, which I don't know if you guys know what a Hilti gun is. Some of you might. Some of you might be fart smellers. Um, a Hilti gun is basically like a mini jackhammer. You, it's, there's, we have two different size ones. Um, one's small for breaking up stuff. And the other one is like a, it's like double the size and it has a four inch wide uh, bit that goes in it. So it was breaking up ground for four inches wide. So it made quick work of the new holes. So that was nice. And then we had to concrete everything in and it I mean, it, it worked out good. It went good. We were smooth as a crew. Uh, but it would have been nice having my dad's brain there for the uh, digging of the poles. That way we didn't have to dig two sets of holes. One set by hand and the other set with a freaking Hilti gun. I was wore the F out when I got home. Now let me tell you what. Sunday when I got home, I came home. I took a bath in some Epsom salt. I soaked them bones. I was hurting. My arms felt like jello. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I was just like, uh. And he's like, uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the rest of it next weekend. <laughs> Why? 
life, you know. My brother does so much for me, I can't tell him no. If it wasn't for my brother, I wouldn't have a roof on my porches. My porches would be getting soaking wet, but my brother would come over and did his job. I mean, I, he's a roofer, so that's just his job. Uh, so, I mean, I, he's roofed my house. I, I owe my brother a lot. Uh, you ask my brother, who's your best friend? And he'll point at me. And then people ask me, who's your best friend? And I point at my brother. We're best friends. We never were always best friends. We butted heads younger, in our younger years. I mean, we were always good brother-brother relationship. But there was times where he's the baby. I would do something to him, he, I would get in trouble. Although, I was the baby because I was the one that had all the medical issues. So my mom was like, don't you hurt him. You touch your brother. It's like, oh yeah. All I gotta do is scream and mama's gonna come yelling at your ass. But as I got older and I was gaining weight and I was gaining size because for three months I didn't gain any weight. Uh, so they figured out what the hell was wrong with me. But it didn't hurt because I was born 10 pounds, 11 ounces, so it didn't hurt that I didn't eat. I mean, I ate, but I didn't, like, have a big appetite. I didn't, I went up, not, not, what am I talking about? Squirrel! I ate, but didn't gain no weight. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. So... I don't even know where the hell I was going with that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be... I don't know about this weekend if I'll be back at it doing the fence. But for sure, probably next weekend. I think my brother's roofing a friend of ours house this weekend. That's, that's kind of nice though. It gives me a, a week break. Uh, that's hard work. I mean, we we dug 24 holes that we should only have to dig 12 holes. But we didn't think when we were doing the uh, digging of the poles. So, uh, I need to get a drink, so I'm going to pause you guys. We'll be back in a flash. Okay. So, yeah, it was it was a very, uh, very exercising weekend. I mean, throwing a 17, or 8, no, eight, I think it was an 18-pound spud bar into the ground. To break up the ground. Yeah. My hands hurt. After that day. Uh, I need to sit up. In this damn chair. Because I can't see this symbol very well. Sorry. I uh. I need to find a better angle. I feel like I'm always hitting the computer, or the, not the computer, good lord, the camera, because, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a good ways away from it, but I feel like I'm always hitting it with my forehead. I'm 
I'm gonna need some wax soon. Uh, so, if I don't go to my brother's house this weekend, I will be working here at the house. I got some wood to stack. More wood. Fun. But, it's gotta get stacked before some major rains come. That way it's all put up. I don't, I don't know what the hell the weather is doing here in Cali. Or in my neck of the woods in Cali. Because it is, it's been like 75 to 80s for the last week. It rained for a day, and then it came back to sunny. I just don't, I don't, I don't know. Something just seems funky. Why aren't we getting any rain? It's October. We only had like three light little rainstorms. I like the rain, but I don't like the rain. I I feel better now that Trapper's got a good kennel set up. You don't have to worry about getting wet. The other day when it rained here, it uh, his kennel was completely dry. But uh, let's see. I have a note here. They're going to touch base on. Um, I'm thinking. Uh, there's a side of me that wants to say something, but then I'm just like, it's none of your business, just shut up, stay out of it, don't feed the monster, but then I'm like, I'm just tired of the fucking bullshit. Um, I had somebody message me and ask me to... Take somebody's side over somebody else's side. And I'm like, please, I do not want to be involved in nobody's drama. So there's going to be some new rules with me. I have a zero Fs policy right now. I'm not going to cuss. I'm sure you know what the F means but I don't care don't bring crap to me if you bring crap to me I will block you on all levels of social media to where you're 86 that's how much I'm done But other than that, let's craft and have some fun because that's what we're, we all started the channel for, right? Is to craft and have fun. So, let's craft and have fun. And treat each other as how you would like to be treated. And let's talk about my pretty little Mary Jane. She's over there sound asleep on her cat thingy. And the reason I want to talk about her is because she, her mom was, I guess you would say an orphan kitty. Um, Sister Stacy, correct me if I'm wrong. They found this kitty, uh, her, Mary Jane's mom and brothers 
out in the town, on the outskirts of town, the town down the road away from from me, and a little bit. I think it was a little bit. Is her name a little bit? Little one, little bit, Missy. Uh, I can't remember her name. It's been so long, but. She ended up and got pregnant and had babies, and Mary Jane came out. So, she, the mama was kind of, they were all kind of like a, a little on the, the wild side of life. They would let you pet them from time to time, but most of the time it was just like, ah, I don't know who you are, don't touch me. Well, she ended up had Mary Jane, and Mary Jane's been a freaking psycho her whole life. Psycho, 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 psycho. I hate saying it about her, but she, she's a psycho. I can hold her for literally like three seconds. I usually say 2.5, but... I'm mean, seriously, 2.5, 3 seconds, and she's <laughs> clawing at you, freaking biting you, tearing you a new one. Because she's flat out psycho. She don't want to be touched. She don't want to... I don't know. But, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm getting to... Or what my topic I'm getting to is lately she's been a love. I know she's she's getting older. She's eight. Sister said she's eight. Yeah, that's what she said. I was just thinking of my son. Did she say she was eight? Yeah, but yes, she said she was eight. Yes, she's eight. Um, do you guys ever do that? Where like you talk to yourself and like. Did she say she was eight, or she said she was seven, or did she say she was nine? I think she said she was eight. No, I think she said she was nine. Yeah, I, I, I'm in my own head. Leave me alone over here. So yeah, she's just been real lovely. I pick her up, and she's just, she's instantly just like, <sighs> like a weight lifted off her shoulders, and she just like flaws into my arms and she's just like curls up and she just kind of like sits there and I, I just grab her ear or underneath her chin and I start scratching her and she'll sit, seriously sit there for a good 20 or 30 minutes and let me pet her. I'm like, um, are you just getting older and mellowing out? I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's like, couple of nights ago, I picked her up, and she was like, 2.5 seconds. But then she come into the craft room with me. This is her favorite spot to come, for some reason. Probably because there's a lot of plastic in here, because she loves to chew on the, uh, plastic covers. Not this. I hate this cover. <laughs> I need some parchment paper bad, because I don't like these don't like it. It's stinky. But she loves coming in the craft room and I allow her. I put her little post down there on the end. She gets up on my table like a little turkey. But every night when I go to go to bed around midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., whenever I go to bed, I'll walk over, and she'll be sound asleep like she is right now. I'll walk over, I'll pick her up, put her in my arms like a little baby, and I walk out, I close the door, and she will sit there for a good 20 minutes and let me cuddle her. And then she's like, okay, I'm done, Dad. You can give me a treat now. And then I go get her a treat. 
Did I finish all that? I, I don't know why, but I kind of have an issue. I don't know if it's the, the lighting, but I can't see some of this canvas in some spots. Like, I'm like squinting to try to make up the number. Okay, so yeah, she's just been like really, really lovey lately. I don't like she's even coming in and, and getting in bed where Trapper sometimes sleeps. Heaven forbid she's sleeping pretty much on my feet. So if I move, she's like <coughs> slashing me with her freaking paws. And I'm like, okay, don't, not my feet, not my feet. No, don't touch my feet, cat. 19, 20, 21. Okay. Let's go over to, you know, it's really confusing. This canvas. I don't know if anybody else is working on this. But at first I was like, I'm reading the symbol this way. And the keys this way. And then I was like, oh, wait a second. This is actually, should be, it's sitting like this right now. So I'm working up here. And I'm like, oh, that explains it. canvas is sideways I couldn't figure that out I'm like it's it's a sideways F but I'm not finding a sideways F on my key hmm okay and I'm like oh oh you gotta be freaking kidding me <laughs> yeah <laughs> dork <laughs> I was a goofball so, we're going to try to get some of this moon done, because, oh yeah, the moon is beautiful. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far, and I hope I haven't scared anybody away for being a jerk. But, man, I just... I was talking to the girlfriend two weeks ago, and I about deleted my YouTube channel. That's how upset I was that there's a lot of creators that are beefing with each other, I guess you would say, or I don't even know what you would call it, but I have a, I don't know. I was going to say... We're all creators. We're all here doing pretty much the same thing. Can't we just get along? But I would, seriously, I was ready to quit. I was, I had my phone open. I was going to delete it. And she said, no, you ain't. I don't think so. The only way I get to hear your voice or communicate with you half the time. So, she basically told me to get off my ass and get to freaking work with my YouTube. So I said, okay, I'll do that. She's the one that pushed me to do the Native American beating for the first time in a long, in a, quite a while. I mean, I've done Native, be Native American beating when I was younger. But I haven't done it in probably 15 years. So it was, it was, it was easy remembering it. It's just the beads I was working with aren't the best of quality. But I'm still going to make a video Friday of the bead and make how to, a tutorial of how to Native American bead. Uh, I figured I'd just go ahead and use up those beads for practice until I get good beads. And I'm sure I'm going to have to buy a lot of freaking beads because, you know, I'm going to want all the things. Got to have all the things.
and uh, I just figured I'd take it a different approach. Um, I've been so calm and cool and collective with everybody, and I just gotta say, I don't want it. I'm right here. And if you do bring it here, I will get rid of it. Or get rid of you. One of the two. Don't mean to sound like a jerk, but I'm going back to the old ways of running my channel. Not worrying about what I'm going to say, if it's going to offend somebody. Or... If it doesn't matter what it is. I'm, I'm tired of being like, oh, somebody's going to say something. I'm going to get a message because, like, for example, my whip and chat on Wednesday, I talked about good times and good vibes with my mom. Somebody messaged me and told me, you're 42 years old. Get off your ass and quit being a big ass crybaby. I'm just like... Really, lady? Really, lady? Where the hell do you get off saying this? What did I ever do to you? Nothing. I don't even know who the hell you are. So. I'm just gonna start blocking it. And then ignoring it. I don't need no, nobody's, nobody else's BS. I don't need it. I have enough... Anxiety and depression going on in my life. I don't need everybody else's bullshit in my life. I need my own bullshit in my life. So, don't be surprised if you just get blocked one day, if you do something wrong. I don't care no more. I'm tired of trying to be. Oh, I can't say this. No, I can't say that because somebody's gonna get offended. And uh, to answer somebody's question about the DP a thon live streams, I thought they were supposed to be PJ. Um, it's my channel. I speak how I want to speak. Um, I may have said zero fucks giving at one point in time, but I think we're all adults here. So, yeah, I just the point where I don't need it no more. My life is already riddled with anxiety. I don't need it. I don't need it and I ain't gonna take it. So I will not take anybody's side in anything that happens between so and so and so and so and this person and that person. So quit asking me to take your side against somebody. It ain't gonna happen. I don't choose sides. You guys are my friends. I'm, I'm not going to be asked to take somebody's side over top of somebody else. I don't play that game. And if this offends anybody, please message me. I'll talk to you. And if you don't like it, unsubscribe. I'm just... I'm done being wrapped up in the fucking drama. It keeps coming to me. And I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting over here being my own personal self. You know? 
So, channel is changing. It's going to be you respect me and my channel, or you go bye bye. Plain and simple. I ain't got nothing else to say about the matter. So, let's have fun. Let's diamond paint. Let's craft. God bless American freaking glue doesn't want to stick. Or wax, bud, whatever the frick you want to call it. Time to start treating each other equal and with the respect that we're deserved. And that's about all I have to say about the fact. And. I really didn't want to bring it up, but it's been, I see it every day over and over and over and over again. It's like, enough with the pity party. Jesus. I was going to talk about a giveaway, but... I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. If I'm going to do a, a 1500 or if I'm going to do a 2000. I don't know. At this point, I ain't doing jack crap for a giveaway until things change. Or I'll just keep it myself. Yeah, that's about it. I feel so much better about me and my channel. It's going in a direction that I should have stayed in. I shouldn't have started worrying about, oh, what am I going to say this and that person's going to get their feelings hurt. It don't matter no more because... I have done nothing to nobody, but I keep getting message. Oh, can you believe this? I t blocked, done. Can you believe this? Blocked, done. I don't care. Don't bring it to me no more. It's not my drama. I don't want it. Never have, never will. So, I guess I'm done here. I just don't give a shit no more. You stop, or I'll stop it. You just won't be allowed here no more. Yeah, so... I hate to be like that, but I've just, I've had enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Um, give you guys some time to think. Now, there's a lot of you that are cool. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's a lot of you guys that are cool. But there's some things that just, that need to change. It's enough's enough. I'm done. I've I've gone to the point where I've almost walked away from my channel. That's how far I've taken it. And I've worked hard for my channel. So that's where I made my change. I just It's all about me from now on. I don't care what everybody else is doing. So, and then that note, treat each other how you want to be treated. And I sure hope you get treated the same way back. Peace. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day.